In 1986, I didn't exist. But you know what did? That's right, consumer video cameras. For a pretty penny, you could take home an oversized hunk of plastic that would capture your most precious family moments on the hottest tech in town, videotape. And I might be a 90s baby, but I know a thing or six about videotape. I gotta get a pip, say cheese. But in the 80s, you couldn't just hop on a virtual web page, punch in your card info, and have a stork drop off a camera two days later. If you wanted a video memory machine, you had two options. One, order from a catalog, or two, go to a physical in-person store. One of these stores that offered video cameras for the family was JC Penney's. I grew up with a JC Penney's being a very normal place to go for old people clothes, cheap cologne, and old people shoes. JC but apparently back in the day, old JC had a lot more to offer. Recently, I stumbled upon an eBay listing for a vintage video camera sold by JC Penney's in 1986, and it piqued my interest. So today we're gonna see if we can get one of these retro cameras up and running, have a visit with a legendary friend of the channel, and maybe even bring this camera back to its motherland for a very uncomfortable encounter. I bought two of these cameras, but before they get here, I did some internet digging to see the history of them, and there's basically nothing on the internet about these cameras. But I did find this old commercial. Capture all your holiday surprises with a JCPenney camcorder. Look for JCPenney camcorders on the back of your JCPenney Christmas catalog. Well, that was traumatizing. Better call my mom. I have a super random topic to talk to you about. Okay. You used to work at JCPenney's, right? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember what years that was? Probably like 88. I'm trying to find information on these old cameras and I was just curious if you even remember seeing them in stores. No bigger cities probably had different things. Each store probably had a little bit different. Maybe it was like you ordered that from a catalog and you got it shipped to you, but they didn't keep it in all the stores maybe? Let's be honest, my mom is pretty cute and nice, but she barely knows anything about JCPenney camcorder history. After a bit more internet digging, I did find a short list of consumer film cameras sold by JCPenney, but still nothing on the video side. So I guess it's time to handle this myself. We have some packages to open. That is not what I was looking for, but honestly, I am totally okay with this. My son is gonna look incredible, but that's not what we're here for. Turns out this first camera won't be able to work at all, but it's still really cool to see it in person. Now, what I haven't told you yet is that I didn't just buy one JCPenney camcorder. I got two because there's a good chance I won't be able to get one of these to operate. Ow. And I gotta be honest, I'm more excited about this one. Before I show you what the camera looks like, I want to read you something from the manual that it came with. Just trust me on this one. Wouldn't it be interesting to see what you were like at age three? It could be a reality for your children. First words, first steps, first time off to school. There's nothing like video for bringing back all of those once in a lifetime events. And when your children grow up and have children of their own, you can give them a video copy of those special moments. Well, after a quick cry, I had all the motivation I needed to get this camera functioning. This chunky unit here allows me to power the camera with an outlet, and it has audio video outputs. So I plug the unit into the wall, plug the other end into the camera, and now let's try to power it on. Here goes nothing. There's a red light, there's a red light on. No freaking way. The camera has power. Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so we actually got the camera to turn on, but I still need to be able to capture a signal from it so we can get some footage with a special guest. I am going to try to get video signal captured from this device through these outputs here. Unfortunately, this module is the only way I can capture video signal from this camera because there are no video outputs on the camera unless you use this tiny adapter. But that adapter would only work for us if the camera's batteries actually held a charge, which they don't because they're from the 80s. So I'll be using my ClearClick monitor slash recorder to record a signal from this 5330 JCPenney VHS movie camera. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got a signal. If you haven't noticed, I'm an idiot. I don't know how to code or build websites from scratch, which is why I use Squarespace. It's really easy. All you do is type in the domain you want, snag it from Squarespace, choose one of their beautiful templates as a starting point for your site, and customize it however you want. I imported my own logo, custom colors, photos, and bam, my website was already looking exactly how I wanted it with barely any time spent. My favorite feature of Squarespace is the online store. It literally took me less than an hour to set up and start selling digital products online line, as you may have seen in my last video. No matter what your endeavor is, you probably need a website. So if you want to start one for yourself, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to show it off to the world, go to squarespace.com slash Zach Mayfield for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Now let's figure out how to make this camera rig mobile. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I told you we had a special guest on the show. Who is it? <laughs> Try again. Let's hope this stays monetized. All right, Jaden, what are we doing? We are headed to Bestie Buy to see if we can find a power source to fuel this JCPenney camera. I have this giant backpack so that we can hopefully fit like a battery pack in there. It's so freaking nice to be back with my sister Jaden, who's been my home video partner in crime since day one. And if there's anyone who can help me figure out how to get this camera mobile, it's her. And we better figure it out, because I've booked something special for us tomorrow involving the camera. We're trying to decide where they would keep these giant batteries. Nope, that's a fridge. That won't work either. Wait, we could be onto something. Nope, it's a coffee machine. We asked an employee for a large mobile power station, and he said they don't have any in the store. Thankfully, we didn't trust the employees. 110 to 120 volts slash 60HZ. It's that? Yeah. There was literally only one of these in the store, which means it's probably a sign from the Lord. Let's finally make this camera mobile. Yeah, I'm gonna return in two days. One final effort. Can this battery power my new favorite camera? It worked. I think it works. <laughs> It's time to bring these old cameras back to their home and commemorate them with a special photo shoot. If you don't know, JCPenney's offers portrait photography and I figured it would be a great way to stamp these cameras permanently in the history of my channel alongside one of my best friends in the world. It's very serious. During the shoot, we were unstoppable. And our photographer was totally on board. 
It's like the power of our $245 battery was coursing through our veins. And to top it all off, we ended the day with the greatest brother-sister photos we could have ever dreamed of. Love you, Jaden.